Hey guys, Saika Ken here, and today's review will be for the new play controlled Donkey Kong Jungle Beat for the Wii. But before I begin, I want to address a few things. First of all, what's with all the new play control games coming out for the Wii? I mean, sure, Nintendo is trying to create a new experience for older games, but I mean, the system's already backwards compatible with GameCube games. I mean, instead, don't you think there should be a system update that allows you to use the Wii Remote and Nunchuck for GameCube games? That would seem more appropriate, I would think. On top of that, why do they feel the need to put new play control for Donkey Kong Jungle Beat? Playing this game on the GameCube with the Bongos controller is pretty innovative enough, wouldn't you say? I don't know why Nintendo felt the need to replace the Bongos with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. That's just my opinion, I guess, so without any further digression, here's my review. This game barely has a considerable plot. Once you get past the title screen and profile selection, it gets right to the gameplay. The manual explains that a group of evil bosses came to take over the kingdoms, and Donkey Kong has to travel to each kingdom to defeat them and save the land. The plot is so basic it's barely worth mentioning, but thankfully the gameplay steals the show for this title at least. Your goal as Donkey Kong is to go through each stage collecting as many bananas as possible. Along the way, you'll encounter enemies, obstacles, gaps, and other familiar stage elements you would expect from a platforming game. Your basic attack is a sonic clap. You do this by shaking the Wii Remote in a downward motion. This maneuver will either destroy an enemy or stun them. In some cases, you run into a sequence where you have to shake the Wii Remote and Nunchuck rapidly to inflict damage. Actually, this happens quite often, especially in boss battles which I'll get into in a minute. As I mentioned earlier, collecting bananas are essential. Each time you complete a level, the bananas you accumulate get added to your HP when you engage in a boss fight. Gaining combos is another way of obtaining extra bananas. By destroying a number of enemies in sequence, along with wall jumping, back flipping, flower flinging, and participating in other seemingly progressive stage elements, help you gain combos. When you complete a level, you are treated to a minigame in which you violently shake the Wii Remote and Nunchuck to gain a bunch of bananas. When you finally come to face to face with a boss, it would be wise to do your best to not get damaged so often. As I previously mentioned, your bananas become your HP, and you don't want to lose a lot of those bananas because after the boss fight, the number of bananas you earn get tallied up in a huge tree. If you retain enough bananas, you earn crests. 200 or more will get you one crest, 500 or more will get you two crests, and if you gain enough bananas to overflow the tree, you get a third crest. The number of crests represent your rank and how great you did on a certain level. Also, getting all three crests in certain kingdoms unlocks more kingdoms to explore. Occasionally, Donkey Kong gets the chance to ride on animals to help get him through a level. These include a parachuting squirrel, a buffalo, and a few others. These sequences do add a little bit more to the fun of this game, although I think Donkey Kong is having a little bit too much fun with these elephant cannons. The boss fights are pretty interesting and fun. That is, until you end up fighting the same bosses over and over again throughout the game. At first, you get four different bosses. The Kong fights are pretty much like a punch-out style fight, in which you dodge the punches and deliver your strike at the right time. The rock fight has you going against a bird in which you stun it first and then attack the egg it's holding. The hawk fight involves you having to deflect an electrically charged coconut being tossed your way back to the boss, causing it to temporarily become immobilized, leaving it open to your attack. And finally, the Tusk Mammoth fights. These require you to throw pineapple bombs into its snout, bursting its exterior, revealing a vulnerable heart. You toss pineapple bombs at the heart, and there you go. All this may seem fun at first, but after these four, you'll be fighting them all over again. Sure, there's some slight change in challenge and appearance, but come on. A little variety wouldn't hurt. It doesn't really matter, because the game is pretty short anyways. I beat the main game in about two hours, and I only died twice. Just short and simple. However, once you beat the game, you do have the option to go back and collect more crests to unlock more stages to add to the replayability, if you haven't done so already. But the game won't last much longer. When it comes to controls, I would rather play with the DK bongos, but that's not to say the Wii controls are bad. They're just not as fun as the bongos. I guess that would defeat the purpose of the new play control title, wouldn't it? But in a nutshell, the gameplay does lack a little, gets repetitive, but it's decently rounded otherwise.
Not much different from the GameCube version, however playing this on the Wii does give you the chance to play in 480p and widescreen. But aside from that, there's not much extra to expect visually. The graphics aren't bad, but they certainly don't push the potential of the Wii. But what else do you expect from a re-release? The sound effects are wacky and cool. The music blends in well with the environment, and the sounds complement the scenes and settings. No cheap stock sounds here. It's the same zany bits you come to love from Nintendo games of this caliber. But I think Nintendo started recycling some of the sound effects. Like, take this one for example. So in conclusion, New Play Control Donkey Kong Jungle Beat is an okay game for the Wii. But if you played the previous GameCube version with the bongos, just stick to that one. Because this one may not satisfy you as much as the GameCube version did. If you're a new player, this game is probably best as a rental if you're into this sort of concept. There are better Wii titles out there for $30. So, that being said, I give New Play Control Donkey Kong Jungle Beat on the Wii a 6.8 out of 10. I thank you viewers once again for watching my review, and until next time, keep gaming.